Book of the Week, Anatomy of an Illness, had this intervention using comedy. So he actually had his friend, his doctor friend, that would bring in some comedy tapes to watch and some shows to see on the TV. And what he found was for every 10 minutes of good belly laughter, he would get at least two hours of restorative sleep where he was pain free. And as they increased the length of time of these, you know, um, episodes of laughter, he found he got more relief from his pain. They also concurrently with that were taking blood levels and looking at certain things in that blood. Those were actually also uh, improving. The numbers were, were the numbers were reducing, and with that in mind, it was actually improving his condition because the numbers were too high in this situation. Now they weren't drastically changing enough that he was able to get home just yet. But the interesting thing to his story is the one negative effect to using laughter as his medicine was that he was actually disturbing others in the hospital and he actually improved enough eventually in recovery always is. Beautiful book. I highly recommend it. I wanted to finish with another beautiful story which ties very closely into especially the placebo effect and you know our strong belief in the ability to heal and especially and I I implore you to look on the inside first. You know your body better than any doctor out there. You have clear understanding. It might not feel clear right now, but you can through training your mind, becoming more relaxed and really truly connecting with yourself and understanding your body and understanding your mind. Your body is a natural pharmacy. It can produce a great deal of things that you will need beyond just the external drugs and pharmaceuticals that are available. That's not to say those aren't beneficial. They are, there's evidence of that. But I believe that we need to start here and then go outwards and work the two concurrently if that's indeed what we need to do. You may find that just by dealing with this <laughs> body-mind that natural solutions arise, your internal pharmacy takes care of itself without the necessity of an external pharmaceutical. I'm no physician. I'm just saying you got to start from the inside, work out, use concurrently with that if need be a doctor and support with respect of using pharmaceuticals. This is known as the hospital story. <clears throat> Two men, both seriously ill, occupied the same hospital room. One man was allowed to sit up in his bed for an hour each afternoon to help drain the fluid from his lungs. His bed was next to the room's only window. The other man had to spend all his time flat on his back. The men talked for hours on end. They spoke of their wives and families, their homes, their jobs, their involvement in the military service where they had been on vacation. Every afternoon when the man in the bed by the window could sit up, he would pass the time by describing to his roommate all the things he could see outside the window. The man in the other bed began to live for those one hour's periods. His world would be broadened and enlivened by all the activity and color of the world outside. The window overlooked a park, park with a lovely lake. Ducks and swans played on the water while children sailed their model boats. Young lovers walked arm in arm amidst flowers of every color and a fine view of the city skyline could be seen in the distance. As the man by the window described all this in exquisite details, the man on the other side of the room would close his eyes and imagine this picturesque scene. One warm afternoon, the man by the window described a parade passing by. Although the other man could not hear the band, he could see it in his mind's eye as the gentleman by the window portrayed it with descriptive words. Days, weeks, and months passed. One morning, the day, the day nurse arrived to bring water for their baths, only to find the lifeless body of the man by the window, who had died peacefully in his sleep. She was saddened and called the hospital attendants to take his body away. As soon as it seemed appropriate, the other man asked if he could be moved next to the window. The nurse was happy to make the switch. And after making sure he was comfortable, she left him alone. Slowly, painfully, he propped himself up on one elbow to take his first look at the real world outside. He strained to slowly turn to look out the window besides the bed. It faced a blank wall. The man asked the nurse what could have compelled his de deceased roommate, who had described such wonderful things outside this window. The nurse responded that the man was blind and could not even see the wall. She said, 
perhaps he was just wanted to encourage you. There is tremendous happiness in making others happy, despite our own situations. Shared grief is half the sorrow, but happiness when shared is doubled. If you want to feel rich, just count all the things you have that money can't buy. Today is a gift. That is why it's called the present. The source of all the suffering there is in this world arises from a mind that cherishes itself. And the source of all the happiness there is in this world arises from the mind that cherishes others. This is a beautiful story and a portrayal of how when we start to enrich our mind and view and have this beautiful visual uh, visualization of how our world could be, and we, st st we start to live in accordance with that, and we believe it, and we convince ourselves. Because isn't that what we're doing right now? Our current story and our current situation, especially on a global scale, is what we've convinced ourselves about. So we need to have a different storyline. Norman Cousins' book, Anatomy of an Illness, plunges into how that story that we currently might have is influencing our very physiology and how when we change that story, we can change our physiology. And as a result, we can start to lead more happiness health and vitality. So thank you for joining me today. I hope you've got benefit from sh this book sharing that I'm doing every week with you. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. If you've not had a chance, uh, go to my website, jasonbarlowrmt.com. From there, you can download a free digital edition of my new book, The 15-Step Playbook for Pain Relief. In that concise book, I get into these kinds of beautiful, insightful ideas of how changing your mind, changing your foods, your rest and recovery, and how you move your body will change your outlook. It will change how you feel. It will change how you lead your life and give you more health, happiness, and vitality. That, to me, is the very essence of life, health, happiness, and vitality. Tell me anything else that you're after. Right? You want to go do certain things. You want to travel the world. You want to go here. You want to make more money. You want to launch a business. Great. But what's the foundation to all of those things? It is your health, your happiness, and your vitality. And the greater we can abide and live in accordance with that, guess what? You start to spread that message. To me, that's the ultimate solution to COVID. Start here. Start with yourself. Then slowly but surely be the example to other people and allow that energy to pervade around you. Right now, there's a lot of negative minds out there. Right now, the center of attention is nothing but COVID and the deleterious effects of it. What are the benefits to it? Ooh, there are no benefits to COVID. <laughs> I disagree. You got to look for them. You got to search for them. And sometimes you have to go a little bit deeper, which is where we get stuck because we're distracted and we're so intent and focused on all the social media and the news posts that are going out there. And it's feeding our mind, which is doing what? It's convincing ourselves of what they are wanting us to believe. Change your story. Anyway, I could go on about that. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, your muscle health is my number one priority. That's why I'm here. I'm here to serve you. If I can be of any further assistance, leave some comments so I know how I can make this more interactive for you and make it more of what you want. Because <laughs> I'm doing what I want and I'm enjoying it. I hope you're enjoying it too. I'm going. Bye-bye. Farewell. Great day.